hi you guys and welcome to my channel so as you can see from the title today i'm gonna be working some magic this is a 36 inch wig from the wigvault.net it's been sitting in my drawer for over a year so that's why it looks like this so we're gonna work some magic today because this right here is not it so i'm going in with my coconut milk from organics usually i would use silicone mix but i ran out Silicone mix and coconut milk is my two highly recommended conditioners when it comes to hair. And I don't use shampoo or weaves whatsoever. I don't recommend it because it has too many harsh chemicals. So what you basically want to do is just wet the hair completely. I like to use a bowl so I can make sure the entire hair is soaked. I don't want to miss any patches or any spots. I want everything to be nice and conditioned. So I just sprinkle some conditioner on the hair. You don't want to put too much of conditioner because it'll get really soapy and then it's really hard to get all of it out when it's time to rinse. So I use little by little at a time. And when you brush your hair, ladies, make sure you always start from bottom to top. You never want to start from top to bottom because it will rip the hair out of the roots if you start from the top and work your way down. I always rip the hair out anyway because I'm very heavy-handed. I don't know if you could tell in this video, but I'm just really heavy-handed. And I don't really care when it comes to my wigs anyway because I know I'm not even going to really wear it for too long. So I'm just adding a little bit more conditioner because I felt like it wasn't conditioned enough when I was brushing. A lot of the hair was coming out, which means it's not silky and soapy enough. You want the hair to be completely moisturized with conditioner before you brush through it to make the process very easier. If you have a wig that's very tangled or that got very bad, you want to make sure it's very conditioned when you brush it. Don't ever brush your hair when it's dry. Always brush it when the conditioner is sitting in the hair. So I'm just making sure the whole hair is very lathered with conditioner. You see how it's coming back to life already? Silky. Yes, girl. That's that organics. I'm telling you. I love this conditioner. So now I'm going to get ready to dye. So I sectioned off a piece from the very back of the wig where my straps are. Because I want the bottom of my wig to be blue. This wig, I'm going to just randomly take patches of the hair and just dye it different colors. I don't want it to be perfect. Usually, I don't do watercolors, especially when it's for my clients. But being that it's for me, I really don't care. Like I said, I usually always hand paint my wigs. But I wanted a really messy, random look. I'll show you guys some pictures in this video of when I hand paint and I want it to look perfect. But that's not really the look I'm going for today. I just want weird, different patches of different colors. So I'm going to keep dipping it inside of the baby blue from a door. Usually I use Pravana, Sparks. Sometimes I'll use a door depending when I'm doing for my clients. But for myself, I know that I'm not going to really wear this hair as much. Probably for two, three days and then take it off. So I just use the cheapest dyes I can get that's still colored good. So I'm going to take off a section at the top. I just, like I told you guys, I'm just doing different random patches. It's no specific way to do it. If you want to recreate this look, yours doesn't have to be exactly like mine because the point of it is to be messy and different. So you can use the same technique that I'm using, but you don't have to do it in the exact same spots that I'm doing it in, if that makes sense. 
So this spot, I believe I wanted it to be ombre, so I didn't take it all the way up to the top. I just did the middle. Now I am going to section off a piece from the other side of the wig. And I'm sorry that that was a little bit out of angle. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to section off a piece of the top right by the middle part. And I want that whole section to be blue. Oh shit, y'all. I accidentally got some of the blue on the other side. This is why I hand paint. If it was for a client, I would never do this. I would be so mad. I would have to get color corrector and take that part out and redo it because you can never get a straight perfect even color when you're doing watercolor and i didn't mean for it to go through on the other side but yeah usually accident hair is like the best hair anyway so i'm pretty sure it's gonna come out cute so now i'm gonna go in with atomic pink from kiss which is like a hot pink And like I said before, I'm just going to do random, random patches. So the side that I messed up with the blue, I'm going to put some pink all the way to the top. So maybe it can give it a gradient ombre effect and it won't look so messed up. I'm just adding a little bit more pink because it wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be. I'm just looking for another spot to do, another random spot. I'm going to do it towards the front, right under where I put the first stripe. And if I'm going too fast for you guys, please let me know in the comments. I hope everybody can catch up. But like I said, if you want to recreate this look, you don't have to do it exactly how I did it. It'll still be cute. Just use the same colors that I'm using. I just took out another random piece and did another pink. So now I'm just washing the bowl out to get ready for the next color, which is lavender. And I'm sorry, I forgot to show this one in the camera, but it's just lavender from a door. You guys, please excuse my big stomach in this video. I'm getting so fat during this quarantine, you guys. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to take this fat and put it somewhere because it's not staying here. So I just dipped a random piece in the lavender from the side that was not blue. Just in case you missed that part. And now I'm just taking some of the back where I put the blue right on top of that i wanted some purple and that's it i'm just gonna do two pieces lavender because i don't want to lose a lot of the pink that the wig actually started with and now you just rinse 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 So this is the color that I got once I rinsed it out. It's just giving me a very pretty unicorn vibe. I love it. This is so cute. If you follow me on Instagram, this is reminding me a little bit of my candy wig. That's on the site. It's so cute. And I love how all of the colors mix together towards the tips and made like a silvery pastel unicorn color towards the tips i just love it it's so cute so now i'm going to blow dry this entire wig which is going to take me about 20 minutes i don't want to keep you guys waiting and this wig came out so pretty y'all i just love it So now that it's dry, except for a couple of spots, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to flat iron it anyway. 
I just wanted to show you guys how it's coming out. And of course, it's a little bit lighter than it was when it was wet because wet hair tends to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to go ahead and flat iron it and come back. So I'm in the middle of flat ironing, you guys. I just want to show you the process, how it's looking. It's so, 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 so pretty. I love it. And I love messy, patchy, wow, fun colors and fun hair. I hate perfect, perfect stripes sometimes. But when I'm doing anything that's like rainbow or unicorn, I like it to be weird and messy. And this is her. I put her on my mannequin. If you guys follow me, you know this is Tasha. Tasha wears all of my wigs. She models all of my wigs. And I just love the way this came out. It's just so beautiful. Nice, right? I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm definitely going to come with more coloring. If you guys ask me to, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and thumbs up this video if you liked it, you guys. So beautiful. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.